Kay Chesley, good morning. I am standing along Bennett Road. I'm not sure if anyone actually lives in this home, but if we zoom in, you can see it looks like right in the front yard. A tree was uprooted yesterday. This is just one example of some of the damage that our crews found really across the county yesterday. Now it's a quiet start to the day, but I want to show you what things looked like less than 24 hours ago. It was a really big undertaking for power and cleanup crews here. Officials say at one point they had at least 20 different streets blocked by trees that had fallen over and four structures, including homes and a horse barn were damaged, and that includes Scott and Tracy Grisham's home. They showed us the bedroom where a huge tree fell and landed on top of a bed. Thankfully, no injuries reported. No one was injured at that horse barn either. And if we have it here in White County, let's show you some video from Helen. They had some pretty serious flooding to contend with as more than six inches of rain fell. This video is from Addie Vandergriff. She says it's behind the Nora Mill Granary. I've seen a lot of people on social media. Uh, talking about the floodwaters there in Helen. And so back out here live though in Banks County, the good news this morning, I just checked in again with power crews, zero power outages reported. Again, Chesley, what a difference 24 hours makes. But again, in some of these hardest hit counties, they will definitely have to continue those cleanup efforts today.